Hey guys, today's video we're going to be comparing the two top competitors of Fire Alarm Bells in Canada. Well, maybe not competitors since it's the same company, but that company makes two different bells. Both of those are very popular in Canada, but let's see which one is actually better. Now, the bells I'm talking about are both made by Edwards, and the bell on the left with the black inner circle is the Edwards MB10-24, that is a motor bell. And the bell on the right with the gold colored circle in the middle is the Edwards 439D-10AWC, usually just known as the 439D. So we will be comparing those two bells in this video, seeing which one's louder, which one performs better on different patterns of signaling, and which one is easier to install and basically looking over every aspect of of both bells. I made a video before of comparing a bell to a horn strobe and that video did pretty well. I did get some requests to show lots of different horn strobes because I think some people just didn't like to accept the fact that the bells are louder than horn strobes but I'm sorry that's just the way it is. Horn strobes cannot compete with bells as far as loudness goes. Compared it to a system sensor P2R, pretty loud alarm, so I don't think we're going to get much different results. Anyways, people wanted to see the, diff the two different bells compared, so that's what we're going to do today. So I believe the 439D, which is a vibrating bell, not a motor bell, I believe that is the older of the two bells. I believe it came out before the motor bell. Okay, let's get into comparing the bells and talking about the differences. Obviously, this is a motor bell versus a vibrating bell. I like the vibrating bell better. I think it sounds better, but that's just a bias I have. I gotta put that aside. Already off the bat, uh, advantage to the motor bell, the MB10-24, is if you look at the current, it's only 0.30 of an amp versus this guy is 0.85 amp. So it's more current draw for the vibrating bell. Also, to install, the motor bell is definitely a easier bell to install. This has, has more parts that you gotta take apart. But this is a much more sturdy bell. This whole base of it, all metal versus this. That's just plastic, like listen to it. Sounds cheap, sounds a lot less cheap. Even the bell metal itself, you can see it's thicker on the 439D. Everything about the 439D is just a bit beefier and just a better put together bell. All metal parts for the most part. So let's actually install these and do a sound test and see which one's louder. First, let's install our Edwards MB10-24, the motor bell, and see how that sounds. So I want to show you the installation process of what you have to do. I'm just going to be mounting this on this 4x4 box here and showing how the installation works. So assuming your box is all ready, your wires are stripped, first thing you got to do is take the gong off. That's the same for both bells. that when the nut driver does that. So you'll need a half inch nut driver. And I should mention, I think both these bells perform better than horn strobes. Both of them are more effective as far as evacuating people than a horn strobe. I have a whole video on that, as I mentioned. Um, but half inch fits a little loosely on this bell. Usually it's a little tighter than that. Take off the gong. As you see, here's that all plastic part I was talking about. You want to remove the mounting screws from your box.
Yeah. Usually your other positive and negative would continue on to a next bell or end of line resistor. But f but for this case, we're just gonna put them in the back of the box. They are cut, so they're not gonna short to anything. Another small detail that's nice about the 439D is it says what way is up. This bell does not. I think most would be able to figure it out, but you never know. As you saw, it's kind of a thick base too, so it doesn't leave much room for these 832s that come with the boxes to bite into at all. Line your gong up. I'll drop into two holes. Oh. There we go. There, drop into those holes. Won't turn. All right. This is this bell installed. Let's do a sound check. So we're gonna do a few different checks. We're gonna do one sound check at 10 feet away, about right here. And I will do another sound check from in this storage room with this door and the door into it closed, basically about just over 30 feet away through a couple walls and a couple doors. I will also compare the temporal three coating. We're gonna take the sound check at Continuous, but I will compare how they perform on coded Code 3. Our decibel meter is set up right here right at 10 feet away So I'm gonna let the bell ring for about 10 seconds on continuous Something else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the decibel meter to the max setting where basically it will It'll hold at whatever the loudest sound it reads so right now, when I talk, I got up to 72 decibels, 73 now. So it'll hold that as the loudest sound it heard. Okay, 115 decibels. Now, as a comparison, when I did this at the exact same distance away, our P2R only got to 107 decibels. So this is louder than Spectra Alert Advance on high volume. Okay, I'm gonna leave the tripod for this um, decibel meter in the exact same spot. So when we do our other bell, it's completely fair test. And we're going to go in, we're gonna go all the way in to this store. Oh. Right there. Okay, so I'm gonna reset that and I'm going to close both doors and let the bell ring again. Eighty-seven. All right, that's not too loud. Hopefully the door. Yeah, the door slamming. I'm just hitting the wall. Wouldn't have passed eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Okay, I could pass it with my voice standing right in here, but. Right, so we were eighty-seven point nine in the room. We will now switch over to the to the four thirty-nine D. Okay, now we're going to talk about how you install the. 439D. So it's pretty well the same process as far as taking the gong off. That's nothing special. Except we got a second step on this. We've also got these two nuts that have to come off as well.
Once that's on there like this, that's where we then take this bit, which they nicely say top on it. As you see, all metal, much stronger. This whole plate's not so thick, so the screws, even the short screws that come on the boxes. Then, you can take this whole assembly, our actual motor part, or a vibrating bell mechanism, plug that in, tuck this all into the back of the box. As you see, see it also says up again, mount this all metal part. I think you're seeing what I'm trying to say here is this bell is built a lot better. Take our gong. That also clips in easier. You don't have to like turn it so much to get it lined up in those stupid holes. It just slides right on easy. We have now switched over. As you saw, we installed it and we are now gonna be running the 439D and we will also do our same decibel test from the exact same amount of feet. And I will mention this bell sounds better and this would be even better if this was on filter DC. So we'll see how it performs. It may be slightly quieter than the MB10-24. That's one con to this bell is it does work better on filtered, but it doesn't require it. Set this back to max again, like we did earlier. Okay, we're set up in the same spot in the room again, so we will do the exact same test this time again with the 439D. Eighty five point nine, all right. Okay, now we're gonna do some temporal three testing and I'm not gonna use the the decibel meter just because it won't pick it up well because it's like a non-constant volume it goes up and down up and down so i just want to show you just from the one camera angle right here how temporal three sounds again we've still got the 439d up eighty five point nine I will mention again, if I haven't mentioned it already, these bells, the 439D, because it's a vibrating bell, it sounds much better on filtered DC. This wasn't filtered, so it sounded even, even better and louder on filtered. All right, that was the 439D on Temporal 3. Now we're going to see how the MB10-24 sounds on Temporal 3. Okay, so that was temporal th three. So, or code three, I guess, whatever you want to refer to it as. So is what I'm trying to say here is, it's not a very clean stop. Because it's a motor bell, it kind of keeps some momentum going and keeps striking that hammer on the gong for a little bit after the signal ends, making it not a very clean temporal three. Okay, our MB10-24 at 10 feet was 115.8 versus our 439D at 10 feet was only 106.6. And in the room, our MB10-24 
was 87.9 and our 4390D in the room was 85.9. So in all cases, the MB10-24 was louder. So it is the winner as far as loudness. I would be interesting to compare it on filter DC, but I don't want to bring out one of the fireline control panels and actually give it filter DC. That's just a big hassle. Um, so I'm not sure how it would perform on filter DC, but I'm just gonna give it a fair test and it lost. As far as temporal three, I think we can all agree though that the 439D sounds way better on Temporal 3. It's much more of a crisp, clean Temporal 3 that it puts out. Even on March time, that's even more great of a feature, just because that, just that fast beat of March time, the MB10-24 just can't keep up. It just kind of sounds bad, but the 439D sounds fine. Installation, I guess, the the MB10-24 is easier, but it's kind of more crappy, the material you're working with because it's plastic and it's more delicate. So I'd say for installation, it might be better. Yeah, it's better for installation, can't lie there. But the 439D is definitely more durable and will last longer. It's just made better. As far as the reliability of the electronics, I can't really say. I've had lots of motor bells fail, and I've also had vibrating bells fail, so I don't know if there's really any advantage there. Current draw, we went over that, so I believe that's all there is for me to go over, so the rest of that can be for you guys to let me know in the comments which one of these bells you guys think performs better, and which one, which one sounds better, performs better, and you think is just the better bell. Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave those down in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.